Look, guys, I got a story time, all right? And this is probably going to be one of the more uh, seriously but kind of like black comedy-esque moments. So when I was little, I would say about like fourth or fifth grade, my mom and me, but I always drive with my mom in the passenger seat because, you know, I always wanted to be a real nigga in the, in the front. And, you know, I thought being in the front was like, the grown up thing to do. Eventually, I started like sleep, like being in the back because I could sleep, lay my head down. That ain't the point. Point of story is we went to the mail place, right? And everything seemed cool. I noticed this car that was just coincidentally just chilling there, but I'm a little kid. What the fuck am I going to pay my own to it for? My mom goes in the mail place and I'm over there thinking, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm home with my mom. <laughs> she getting mail. I'm in the car by myself. I feel like just. I feel like I'm really maturing and growing up, like, front seat, boy, passenger seat. I'm making it. And then a, a car just goes, skirt, leaps, leaps into the car. And you may be doubting me on this, but crackheads can do an amazing thing. Leaps in the car. Rips my mom's purse out. Now, you may be thinking, the one thing, what did you do? Shut your bitch ass up, okay? I'm not about to fight no fully grown crackhead. That is a fully evolved crackhead. If this was Pokemon, my level is way too low. That is an evolved Pokemon. I have no candy. I have nothing to help me evolve. I, I, no, I wasn't about to do it. I was there frozen. That lady, she was in a car. She leaped out the car. She, like, leaped her body out, bro, on, like, some Orochimaru type shit. Grabbed the purse, left. They drove off. I was like, what just happened? What just happened? Are you t are you telling me I what? This this lady just came by and robbed me? I'm minding my business. I'm a child. And this experience happens? Really? The lady, the person in the car dip the fuck off i mean like the lady in the car was going so i run inside the mail place and tell my mom i'm like mom mom this lady didn't took your shit it's gone and my mom was like panicking flipping out and she's like how did that happen what what just happened i'm, I'm over there panicking i'm freaking out I'm like i will tell you this honest to god i was scared for my life okay this is this is one of them is where there's nothing to laugh about i was in full we should get the fuck out of here, bitch mode. Like, I was not about to deal with that. Not at all. No. 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 Wasn't going to. Wasn't going to. Like, really? A fully evolved crackhead? If she had enough motivation to stretch her fucking torso out the car and grab it, she has no fear of fighting me. I am a little kid. She will football throw me. She will, she will, she will just chuck me. You ever seen a crackhead? You ever seen how fast they run? I seen a crackhead get shot and keep going. They even feel it. Crack is like venom off of fucking, that's just shit. They get banged. Crackheads take that every day. So look, I think the cop came and it was asking people around. And it was this group of crackheads in this abandoned house. The abandoned house was not destroyed for obvious reasons. So the crackheads were in the car. My mom, I mean, the crackheads was in the area. My mom asks them, have you seen my purse? I mean, the mom, do you know who stole my purse? And they say the dumbest shit a human being could possibly say. They say, Nah, just stick with me on this, because you're really about to be like, like, this is some shit that make you hit somebody. They say, how are you sure you ain't just lose it? Retrace your steps. Check in the store. My mom looks at them with the, she's like, bro, shut the fuck, get him out of my face, bro. Because it was stolen. How is retracing her steps going to help her find it? That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. And I said dumb shit before, but I, it's stolen. Let me just look back where I was. Oh, I found the, I, I found my shit. Look where it's, oh, it, it was stolen. How the fuck am I going to find it? Like, it was ridiculous. So, um, we get back in the car and you may think, Delonte, well, you can't push the story anymore. It's done. You know, you ain't find them. It's funny story enough. I gave the police like, like a complete good description. I can't remember it now, but I told them like, oh, the point who the fuck did it. Snitch game, all right? Don't say snitches get stitches. If they take your shit, you snitch. You don't You do not do that shit. I actually need to get... I, I wish when I was little, I didn't do that shit when I was little because I should have told on a lot of people. I was getting bullied. I should have snitched. I should have told. 
Like, fuck, not saying anything, didn't do anything. But look, so, about like a week later, me and my mom go to a gas station. <laughs> now, you may think from this experience, I'd never get in the car with my mom again. I did. So, we in the car. We go to the gas station. My mom's filling up her tank. I'm sitting in the car watching. I got the, the doors locked, the windows up. I got like a small knife in my hand. Yes, I was given a pocket knife. I was about that shit. So, I got a pocket knife. I'm ready. I'm like, she run up. I'm like, stab that bitch. I'm like, Mm-hmm. I'm just ready to stab, bro. To stab. I'm just ready to get him. They didn't rob my car, though. They didn't rob my mom's car. They went to the lady next to us, who was an old senior citizen. And when I tell you this lady did some type of ninjutsu to bust the window open, like, I've never seen a window get busted like this in real life. Only in movies have they done shit like this. The lady went up to the window, tapped it, and it shattered. I, I think she may have used a rock. She tapped it. And it shattered so softly. You wouldn't even hear it if you wanted to. Like, it was like... I was like... Watching it. I couldn't believe this shit. She took the purse and ran. The old lady come... Now, don't, don't, don't ask me this, but... Nigga saw it happen. I don't know why no nigga decided to stop a female... Like, it's niggas there. Like, it's big niggas there watching this happen. No one stopped her. Was she going to beat their ass? Is she, They're men. They should have jumped that bitch. But the lady comes out. They tell her. And the old lady looks devastated. The old lady's face is like, you can't, you can't act like you don't care. Because it's like her face. You feel so sad. I'm like, fuck, I got robbed. You want my, you want my fucking baby Jordans, dude, you want my baby Jordans, you could take them, it's like, Jesus, I, wow, like, she was so, she was so old for that to happen to her, you wouldn't think, you know, she just looked, just devastated, and my mom was like, well, what, I'm like, mom, that looked like the same person, like, it looked like, I don't know why the fuck this lady is just out here ganking niggas, but, it was the same fucking person, bro, so my mom, stopped, obviously stopped going to the gas station, she ain't about to get robbed for nobody, so, and that's the end of the story. Uh, the moral of this story is going to have to be... Uh, sorry for that. Mom caught me. Moral of the story is... Life sucks and shitty things are going to happen regardless of whether you want them to or not. And if you believe in some great beyond dude up there or whatever, bad things are bound to happen. Shitty things are bound to happen. Can't do anything about it. You just got to live with it, roll with the punches, and keep doing you. Um, honestly, I'm not super religious myself. So, when bad things happen, I just understand that human beings are naturally evil people. Like, as human beings, we can do evil things. We can do good things. It's like two sides. But human beings are very terrifying. Like, we're not... You can make... You can say vampires are scary or demons are scary, but... Demons and vampires, demons are, like, evil, you know, they're already at that point, That that's not scary, a human being can start from one point and screw you over, human beings are naturally selfish, you know, it's the fact that we have this potential of great, like, destruction that makes us scary, demons are already at that point, it's nothing, they can't do more than what they are, they have no ability to grow, they have no ability to change or be different, vampires, they're gonna drink blood, that's them, they can't, they can't be, they can't be bad. They can only be great because they have to drink blood. They're not, human beings are selfish. Vampires are human beings that have been turned to the vampires. They're selfish. No one's about to let themselves die. So, that's just me. I think, I think the scariest thing, you know, we shouldn't be trying to go to heaven or be afraid of some hell. We should, we should try to work on what we at right now. Because when you die, it's not going to matter. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, I want to be happy where I am and I don't want to, be like, well, I'm going to heaven. It's going to be great there. It's like, let's try to make here great, dude. Because you're going to have kids. They're going to have kids. You have to make here great. Heavens is for the dead people. Dead people have nothing to worry about anyway. You're dead. Try to make earth amazing, bro. Hell isn't scary. Life is scary. Earth is scary. Hell has nothing on what earth is. What life can do to you is way worse, in my opinion, than what hell can. Hell is torture. You know? Life is like torture, period. You don't know when it's going to happen. At least I know what's going to happen in hell. I know I'm fucked. But but in Earth, you don't know what. You could be walking one day and get shot. So you just got to always have a positive mindset and always try to... Don't let nothing break you down. 
because it's the struggle that builds a great character, mind, and body. Make sure to work on yourself. Get them on taco games. Look at this. Get them. Get them games, bro. Make sure to you know life is life is shitty enough. Try to enjoy it. Try to enjoy what's there. Try to enjoy uh, life for what it is and not for what it ain't. Peace out.